Good morning, everyone. Last week, Canadians were shocked and horrified to find out of a terrorist plot planned by a father and son who appear to have links to ISIS. Uh, evidence exists that the father was involved in a horrific torture attack in an ISIS video. Shortly after the events in the video, this individual was admitted into Canada and later was granted citizenship by the Trudeau government. This is a colossal failure of Trudeau's national security system. Canadians have a right to know what went wrong. How did this individual gain entry into Canada and obtain Canadian citizenship? Canadians also have a right to know if there are anybody else, if there's anyone else in Canada with similar backgrounds who are granted entry into our country. This is serious. Lives are on the line. We potentially would have seen the loss of innocent life had the RCMP not caught these suspects before they were able to perpetrate their horrific crimes. So we're calling on the Bloc and NDP to come back to Ottawa to recall the committee so that Canadians can get answers on this most important and pressing matter. Lives are at stake when national security systems don't do their job. Lives are at stake when people with connections to terrorist organizations are allowed into Canada and granted citizenship. Good question. Yeah, this incident is an act of criminal investigation. What makes you think that the RCMP, uh, CBSA would be able to say anything, let alone the minister who is separate from the RCMP? Well, what we're calling for are the details about how these individuals were allowed into Canada. Uh, that's, th that's totally appropriate for uh, Justin Trudeau's officials to answer for. The government always plays privacy when it comes to immigration matters, regardless of, of when someone's charged with a crime, this, though. This government, when it suits them, has made public comments on, uh, on any number of uh, investigations. Uh, it's totally within their purview to inform Canadians it's how people associated with ISIS who participated in a gruesome and horrific torture video were allowed into Canada, whether or not there are other individuals who may have links to terrorist organizations are currently at large in Canada. I mean, this is a, 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 a shocking and disturbing event. At a time when anti-Semitic hate incidences are on the rise, when Jewish communities are facing attacks in cities across the country, uh, to, to, for Canadians to find out that their own government let in someone associated with ISIS and granted them citizenship, it's entirely appropriate for the government to answer for that. Have you had any conversations ahead of this press conference with the Bloc or the NDP about their potential support for this proposal? Well, as I mentioned, my colleague Frank Caputo has written to the Minister to make these uh, details public. Uh, we are calling on the Bloc and NDP publicly today because of the track record over the last few weeks. When we uh, 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 submit proposals to them to recall committees to investigate very important issues like the rise in violent crime, like the diversion of Trudeau's taxpayer-funded narcotics into our communities, uh, or the appointment of someone with a long history of anti-Israel and justification of terrorist comments to the Human Rights C Commission, uh, they have refused. So we are taking this issue very seriously and we want to publicly call on them to support our efforts to recall committees so that they don't just slough it off till the fall. Mr. Speaker, have you seen that video? Have you seen the connections yourself? Have you I've, seen I've, I've, I've seen the, the, the public reports in the Canadian media about these, uh, these horrific incidences. Who should testify? Who should come and testify in front of that committee? Who would like to hear? Well, we'd start with the minister. We'd start with Minister LeBlanc, uh, and then any officials that, uh, that, that oversee these types of applications and uh, these types of security uh, screenings. I mean, this is one of the most basic responsibilities of government to keep Canadians safe. And for Canadians to have confidence in our immigration system, we need to know that in every case, in every application, the due diligence and proper screening is done. Clearly, that was not done in this situation, and lives were almost lost. Why have all these commentaires in French? 